Microsoft's business philosophy. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. And with newly appointed head designer Sebastian Sato at the helm, the night show should prove no exception. Sato, who has been hailed as one of the boldest young designers of his generation, surprised the fashion world earlier this year when he accepted the position as head designer for Sanguine, a house usually associated more with continuity than innovation. Whether Sato, the archetypal left field artist, and Novikov, the quintessential capitalist, are a match made in heaven or an unholy union, remains to be seen. Either way, this evening has already had its fair share of surprises. Just a moment ago, I saw none other than Valerie St. Clair arriving. Now, to those out there who've been living under a rock for the past... Hello, Alex from Push Square here. I'm here with Hitman, who's doing what Hitman does. Uh, in the new uh, first episode of the episodic Hitman game that's uh, coming out tomorrow. Um, it's a bit of a departure for the series, so we're not getting it in one big hit as we did with previous games. Instead, each month for the next, I think, for the rest of the year pretty much, um, we're getting uh, a new location each month. So this is the, the first pack that's come out, which is, uh, includes a couple of training missions, and the first locale, which is a fashion show going on in Paris, where uh, Agent 47 here, in all his uh, baldy locks glory, is um, being sent to kill two uh, people who are running the fashion show, because they're also selling the names of secret agents. Uh, and MI6 in uh, specifically uh, are not particularly keen on that. So. Um, I'm going to have to play for a little bit and talk through, kind of show um, what's kind of going on in this uh, in this latest edition to the series and uh, hopefully show you a little bit what the game's about. So, um, it plays um, a, a bit different to Absolution did. Um, it's more like the earlier games in the series insofar that rather than it being uh, the more guided experience that Absolution turned into with a lot more story, you kind of put into these big... Um, open areas, so to speak, where you have to kind of undertake your hit. As a result, there's a lot of options open to you, so um, you've got a hitman vision, I guess, as you need to have in games these days, and you can see the sort of things you can interact with, so you've got these gas burners, which if I had a wrench, I could loosen the valve and know that cause an explosion that would kill some people. Um, not going to do that. Um, but I'm going to have a bit of a walk around and see what I can find. Uh, there's that guy with um, there seems to be two areas you can kind of get into. Yeah. Either all, a side parking area here or an, a cargo all, area on the other side. But let's go in the front door and have a look around. Uh, as I said, kind of an interesting approach to kind of releasing it this time around. So you can buy... Well, when it comes out tomorrow, that I guess. Um, an intro pack which Head includes just the Aviado. tutorial and the first Quite location, the Paris. Um, you can pay up front and get the whole year's worth of content, um, included with all the locales that are released each month. Um, or you can buy each location you're interested in. So you don't have to. You can buy one of one episode. And that be it. You can buy all of them, or you can buy, you know, none of it. I guess. Uh, so let's have a look. Monsieur? Let's see if we can find what's going on in this fashion show. Where are my targets? One at the back there. And I can't see where the other one is at the moment. Ah, it's on the ground floor there. So let's have a wander around. Hello to everyone in the chat that's joined me. Um, if there's anything you wanted me to check out, just let me know in the chat. I'll keep monitoring it, so uh, see what's going on with you guys. Right. So, uh, I'll show you something a bit quick, a bit different about the Hitman this time around. It gives you some clues as to what sort of hits you can do. So each kind of scenario, and I guess it's, you know, there's only the, the two training ones and this one in the in the intro pack, give you some ideas of how you can complete the hit, um, and you can basically track them once you've found, um, found bits about it, so you can find each step that gets you to the hit through that, through that route. Now, 
before you cry and say, but Alex, that's not Hitman. You're supposed to work it out for yourself. It's like a big puzzle game where you pull up the threads and then you find out where you need to, how you need to make the hit, kind of in the most interesting ways by dropping a chandelier on someone or feeding them to the sharks or whatever, <laughs> whatever particular scenario they've thought at this time. Well, the part of the, the, the benefit of this is that you can play it however you want, so you can have all of the options open to you where it can give you all the guidance. Um, or, as I sh oh, I'll show you the settings, I was in the right menu then. Showing the settings under gameplay, you can turn everything off, so you can see none of the opportunities, you can see, you can turn off your instinct, you can turn off any vital info, you can turn off the objectives, you can turn off absolutely everything so if you want to go in completely blind and not have the kind of that bit of hand holding then you can do so but for this purposes just so i don't make a complete fool of myself we'll see if we can follow one of the threads so that first one so let's go and see what happens ma'am i wish i had that job <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a... He looks very similar to uh, to yourself. I don't have time to argue with you, just move on. Here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since... There you go, an opportunity's been revealed, so... So, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. I should say so. That's very convenient for a completely bald assassin. Oh, so say? I've got to find out more about that model, so hopefully I imagine I'm going to assume his identity. That guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. Huh. Good looking yeah. tuxedo, sir. Okay. But we're practicing increased security operations, so I can't let you through here at the moment. Sorry so, for the inconvenience. So the usual uh, disguises apply, so I imagine if I need to get through there, I need a, a similar sort of disguise, so I think I've seen this in a demo, so. So here's a member of the crew. Let's see. Right. I'm not going to snap his neck because I want to try and go for the silent assassin rating. Oops. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, I accidentally pressed snap neck there. That's not going to work out very well, but there we go. Hit my rating a bit. Let's take his disguise uh, and let's dump him. So there we go, I'm backstage now. Um, that might be useful, some scissors. Keep hold of that. Ah, so I can break glass and I can get some swords and axes, but uh, the warning signal says that I'm probably going to draw some attention to myself, so I probably don't want to do that just yet. So yeah, it's actually quite a good looking game. I'm quite impressed. It's uh, it looks pretty good and the openness of the levels really reminds me of kind of the earlier Hitman games. So Hitman 1, 2, 3 and the guest Blood Money where most people were kind of familiar with the series. So that's I think no a big style. improvement over what Absolution was doing. What the hell and you know, dividing it up into, the, into small portions is probably a good way. You can test this out for you know a relatively small amount, get the first locale if you like it, you know, have a fix of Hitman and not buy any more. And, you know, not a, a, a thought out for a full price game, but if you like it enough, you can buy additional locales. So, right. another addition that you can turn off is those spots above the head. That means that he will recognise me as someone that isn't supposed to be here. I'm not a stylist. He'll 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 know that because he's obviously a model. And he may know all the stylists. So I need to keep my distance from him. Because if I get too close into his vision, he should start spotting me. So there we go. He started spotting me there. So I need to get out of your vision a little bit. Okay, so he's... Heading off somewhere. He's got some guards. Yeah, you're probably right. Nothing worth 
much of it in hand. In the foreign legion, so. You're smarter than I thought. Good for you. What's this? Stay safe. Spl expose wire. Don't do that just yet. Get into some trouble, I think. Propane flask. Can I store that? No, I can't. So <laughs> walk around with the propane flask. <laughs> Might be pretty good to just don't mind me, guys. Just carrying on a propane flask. You know, that's what we use for makeup these days. Alright, so he's... Oh. That model's gone into the gardens here, so I've got to be a bit careful. Let's find out more about Helmut. Helmut. Okay. Not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have... I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine, I'll I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. Right, so I need to get the disguise. So, oh, hang on. Oh yeah, you can th actually throw items in this this one. So <laughs> you can throw kind of knives and other bits. So yeah, Dan, let's... it's me. Oh. <coughs> <laughs> okay, that that worked. Let's take his disguise. Right, I need his phone. Is it says? I think I better get rid of him before that guard comes back. Let's dump him over the side. <coughs> oh, that does kill him. Okay, well I guess it would, wouldn't it? If he's unconscious and you throw him in the water. That. Uh... What's this? Okay, so. Oh, my goal is to pick up the phone. Dahlia, Helmut here. Remind me again, where were you supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire's meet, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. I can't believe I got away with that, then. <laughs> see me right away. Highly amusing. So, you can get all the usual kit for Hitman. So I started with his science pistol and some coins and his fibre wire, but you've got all sorts of stuff you can bring, such as you know proximity, explosives, and and the such. So there's uh, plenty of ways you can take out your targets. So hello, if you've just joined me, uh, my name's Alex. I'm from Push Square, and we're playing a bit of the first episode of the new Hitman game. Just give you guys an idea of what it's all about and so far I'm quite impressed it's uh, very reminiscent of the early Hitman's with kind of big sprawling levels that that give you a lot of options open to you Cause I can see plenty of I mean we've got chandeliers so I presume we can drop them on people if we wanted to yeah I need a wrench okay All right so I'm using I'm cheating a little bit, so please forgive me. I'm taking advantage of the new opportunity system that will take you step by step through certain assassinations. So, purely just to show you guys what it's about, because I'm sure you would not be interested in watching me blunder around this level for for an hour or so. <laughs> well, at least it's <laughs> you'd be getting increasingly close. frustrated. Yeah, There'd be less people show. watching, so and I'd be increasingly here. embarrassed. Not and that's the last thing any of us want. How we doing? Screwdriver. You can never have too many weapons. Let's uh, make a screwdriver as well. Right, so, can I get my makeup done here? There we go. Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just So yeah, if you have any questions for me about the game, anything you'd like me to check out, uh, please let me know in the chat, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. You can 
good, Agent 47. There, you are all set, Mr. Kruger. Good work. Wow, thanks, Mr. Kruger. Break a leg. <laughs> all right, now I have to walk the catwalk, apparently. Agent 47, when he goes for disguise, he really commits. Hey, you there! You! Yes, darling. Yes. Over here. Come on, let's go. What's up, Sebastian? You know, no, no, no. I wonder if you'll break out Blue Steel, Zoolander style. Get out there and knock the dead. <laughs> There's some nice crowd effects here. I love it. Right, reminiscent, I guess, of Mardi Gras to a, a more limited extent from Blood Money. <laughs> That's a nice pose. I've done my, my bit on the catwalk. I'll go and meet with one of my targets. Because uh, I've got the two to kill. I've got... Victor Novikov and Dahlia Margolis. Right, so... I assume I need to get upstairs. Should be okay with this disguise. It's quite good because they tell you if you're not allowed somewhere, so you've got plenty. So you don't end up getting yourself into a bit of a bit of a pickle by walking to the wrong Enjoy area. Enjoy the show, Mr. Kruger. Okay, so I'm all right. Thing I can steal here, weapon-wise. Do with this. Conceal items. Nearly <laughs> got spotted taking the knife. You rock, Helmut. Thank you very much. My 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 catwalk style was particularly great. I thought. Everything under control. Yeah, all's good. Where's the stairs up? Okay, so this what? is upstairs, I guess, of where. Oh, you've been recorded by a security camera. Brilliant. Huh. Wow. Never knew this. Is that where I was? Yeah, that's the catwalk. You see what I mean? These levels are absolutely massive and. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. I got it, I got it. Margolis? There's plenty of room for you to kind of work around, pick at the threads, try and find just the right okay. place to. To commit your assassination. Okay, this will be the stairs. Good, Mr. Kruger. Thank you very much. So this dialogue is particularly amusing, I think. Welcome, sir. I can just go drop that chandelier. Mr. Kruger, sir. Yeah, all this is, that's where I was earlier, I guess, when I took the disguise. So you can see the size of the level, it's a fair old, fair old environment to, to be knocking around in. Hey, Helmut. Right, so Mr. In here. Jordan Cross, Tren Poe, you have been expecting... You're in. Good work. Thank so you. this is the auction of secrets. In terms of where this fits into the Hitman timeline, if you I guess if you're interested, uh, is it's at the height of his career where he's working with Diana as handler. So this is, I presume before Blood Money, before Absolution, um, possibly after one and two. So he is kind of in his prime, 
um, working for the agency. Uh, Mr. Kruger, nice spread. let me know if you need new bodyguards. Could I kill someone with a okay. pineapple? Call me. Oh, there's an idea. You can have that one for free. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nicely done, 47. Please, have a seat. Nice. Sit down. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So, Jessica... I guess this is my opportunity to perform now, my first assassination. Seek out Jessica. Take it to the chat. Any suggestions on, on what, what I best. should use? The girl um, is bright, young... So look what I've got. I've got a knife, screwdriver, fiber wire might be a bit difficult because I'll get around behind her, scissors, or the silence pistol. Any suggestions from anyone they'd like to see? If not, I think I'm going to go for the knife and try and do the throw, because you can throw sharp weapons in this as well. Blunt weapons will knock people out, sharp weapons will kill people. There we go, so Roy PW says knife in a particularly sadistic way, so let's go with the knife. Is that? Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. There we go. <laughs> the knife back, thank you. Can I hide the body anywhere? A bit of blood, so someone might notice. Let's get her ducked in here. Sorry, everyone, too late. Knife it was. <laughs> right, so that's the first assassination done. Oh, hang on, I've got the knife out of it. Yes, I have. Probably best put that away. Alright, so I can climb out here, can I? That's an interesting. Uh, not sure why I'd want to. There's a guard there. Probably don't want to do this. I actually had a, a decent disguise to get out the front way, so let's not overly complicate things here. Let's hope no one notices the blood. I'll shut the door quickly. Oh, close the door. There we go. Alright, so let's find where my second person is. Now, that's probably one Mr. of not, well, it is one of many, many ways you can carry this out, so you've got a lot of options open to you. Where is the second target? I think he's downstairs. Oh, there, there he is. Thank you. You are too, really too kind. This gentleman have a rifle. I have been told that these are the most to be accessible here. Best designs yet. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. No, 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 no. It's not. The themes I'm exploring here are that. perhaps my darkest yet. I've explored feelings of powerlessness, okay. duress. We'll get one, then the other. The other one to turn. Uh, one of the good things about it is it all, it saves quite frequently uh, while you're playing. So if you do mess up a small section, you can revert back again if you want to play it that way. So let's just save it quickly before I try something too stupid and undo all of the good work I've done so far.
Okay, so there's one going. I can get the other one. A mask of normality. To make us appear happy. And successful. And above all, in control. But deep down, who really is? Huh? Yeah, bodyguard uniform. Thank you. And good night. Target. Oh, I've missed, I've missed opportunity to dump that on him. Yeah, I've missed him. Missed the opportunity. Pretty missed the opportunity there. Shame. Now, shall I stick as the bodyguard or go back to my other disguise? What's he got there? Anything else up here of, of interest for me? What's this? Hammer. I think I'll stick with a knife. That doesn't sound too psycho. Right, so. I can see the target now has a white dot above his head, which means he will recognise that I am not who I'm pretending to be. So I think I'll revert back to my model garb and uh, now, obviously, carrying the gun is probably not going to be the best. So let's get rid of that. Let's get downstairs and see if we can't find some other threads to tweak, fiddle with. So hello to everyone in the, in the chat, um, I'm Alex from Push Square, um, here to play some Hitman for you this evening ahead of its release tomorrow, or imminently, depending on where in the world you, you are residing right now. Um, let's have a look. If you uh, are Helmet familiar Kruger. with us already and already wow. follow our, our YouTube channel, yeah. then thank you very much. If you don't, then... Would you be good enough to subscribe? We've got plenty of excellent videos going up all the time, what? live streams, Game of the Month videos, um, new stuff. Um, and we've got our second episode of our podcast going up later this week as well. So uh, plenty of good stuff to check out if you're into your PlayStation goodness. Right now, where is he? I'd very much like to dump a chandelier on his head, but I can't seem to find where... I have not seen a wrench yet. Oh, that's, that's far too tempting. Bare knuckle box. Come on, tell me you know it now. Uh, can you tell me what's in it? Usually it's just worthwhile to watch them for a little bit and see if they go anywhere where they're on their own. I imagine it won't be that easy. Bodyguard with him as well. It's a drink, so I could probably poison if I had any poison. Oh, look! Let's have a look around quickly, see if there's anything I can make use of. Mr. Kruger. Another knife there. Oh, he's moved off. Oh, he's gone outside. Oh, I'm sorry. 
fascinating. But but tell me, is it true there's bad blood between you and Sebastian Sato? The public what needs to know. What a pleasure, Mr. Sebastian and I are like two, two peas in a pod. This seems a bit too public to try and kill him here. I imagine this will end in a uh, very bloody death for me if I attempt to uh, take him out. And the thing with the Hitman games is whenever you end up shooting lots of people, you feel, even if you can get away with it, you feel like you've failed somewhat. I always want that silent assassin uh, rating wherever possible. Okay, if he goes to my quad, I'm just going to probably just shoot them and, and go against what I just said, but... Patience is a virtue when it comes to these sorts of games, and sometimes mine runs out. Looks like hell finally has frozen over. I should hope not, Victor. I know how you like it hot. <laughs> oh, after you. No, thank you. I prefer a crowd. I just wanted to say this to your face. You're finished, Victor. The ground is slipping. I've seen the case Kamarov and the FSB are building against you in Moscow. Espionage, profiteering, insider trading, quite the page turner. I see. Well, I hate to rain on your parade, dear Valerie, but... I also know about the VIP lounge. What's really going on over there? Yes, uh, I was killing your wife. How exciting. If only I had time to listen to your crackpot theories, Valerie. But, alas, I have a show to run. When you talk about this game, you do sound like to a bit continued. of some sort of I'm sure. freak that enjoys killing people in the most sadistic ways you can think up. Slightly worrying. Come on. Ah. Kruger, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Okay? Calm. Oh, I'm being hunted. I want to get out of here. Still no answer. I've been compromised. What's going on up there? Oh my god, they, they know, they, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught him and they're next. It was a mistake to come here and grab those clubs in the gallery. Right, I'm in a bit of trouble now. I've still got to. Hi. Yes, I. Oh. Oh, are you? Um. Yeah. Well, look. Yeah, I know it's late, but look, if you could just look, look. I only need a lens for my camera. It's an emergency. Palladio Walevska. It's downtown. At Yes, then we fashion shop. I'm about to do an interview with Victor Northcott, and so my intern is up to the shop in his bed. Dear, bit of a frame rate hitch there. Did I kill him with that exposed wire? No, he's not. He's needs to be running. Out. 
parked downstairs. See, there's, there's people who will recognise me now, so... If I go back into my disguise, does that mean I'm alright? Yeah, so that disguise is compromised now, so... See that, he says. I've got a bit more careful because this isn't giving me quite as much free reign as I had before. Brand owner and head designer hating each other's guts. Check. Well, I'm, so I'm trying. <laughs> get, he says, get him, bro. Yes, I am trying. <laughs> it's funny how things never quite go to plan in these situations. I got one pretty well following the opportunity. I'm lot. I'm really turned around now in this. Where's he gone again? myself into a bit of a tight spot where I can't get out without being recognised. The guy down the other end won't recognise oh, me, so again. let's try and get. Nice to see you. Keep walking. Get down the opposite oh. side. Who are you again? Hey, you seen Ramon? Right, okay. I can... Get away from him there. Right. He's looking for me. I get... Away. Hopefully... Oh, okay. this is... Proving problematic now. I just want to kill him now. <laughs> I guess is when it gets quite exciting when you've not got those steps, the step by step sort of take this step, that step, and you'll get to the to the kill. I can't just kill him. Chat, chat, I said I should just kill him. I'm not a silent assassin then, am I? Ooh. We better stay on our toes, though. Yeah, what the hell is a bare knuckle boxer? What? The Good same thing as Novikov. He asked if I could make him one. Oh, that. Yeah, shit. I forgot. It's a cocktail, his favorite, apparently. Palace owner Mr. Laren left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I was gonna copy it out and laminate it, but according to staff, Victor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Okay, maybe I should try this. Yeah, then. whatever. Who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. There's a staff disguise, so this guy should hopefully come in here. Yeah. Have that disguise. Dump the body. Convenient crate. Right, so I need to find the right cocktail. 
Right, we're back on track now, we're back on track. I was blundering around a little bit, but we were... Uh... Yeah, I've already blown Silent Assassin. Um, Romanian. Romanian has asked in the chat. I blew that long ago when I dumped uh, the model in the uh, in the river. <laughs> so. Hey waiter, what's up? Nothing. Just uh, poisoning someone. Right. So I need to find rat poison. And this is the point where I get lost in the basement now for ten minutes. This level is absolutely massive. Oh, they all recognise me. Don't want to do that. Let's go back out the way I came. Waiters will be. Yeah, well, waiters. Okay. Well, that's a, I'm sure that's a health and safety breach right there. Putting the rat poison where you're preparing food. That must be a pretty big no-no. Let's go and tend the bar. Nice work, 47. Time to mix up a storm. Let's make a, uh, a lovely drink for our target. Oh, I could do with a nice cocktail right now. I'm a bit thirsty. Philip, come with me right now. Chuck the poison in. A little something something. Another challenge completed. Oh, I presume I'm waiting for the target to come and, and get the drink. Rasta Rocky cannot wait to play this game apparently. He's with the division and Uncharted relatively soon. He th thinks to this year's a great year for gaming. Uh, you know what? I have to agree. It's, uh, it's been game after game so far this year that I've kind of enjoyed playing. So, you know, plenty more ahead of us as well. So, we're really looking forward to it. Now, is he going to come and have this drink or not? Where is he? I do worry that um, I scared him off earlier. When I sabotaged the wire out in the open in front of everyone. Do I need to take the drink to him though? Let's have a look. As I said before, there seems to be plenty of plenty of options open to you in terms of what you do to take out your targets. I've been blundering on this level for for a while now, and I've seen so many. I feel like I've seen so many ways this could have been done that it's actually really, really impressive. I guess that's the. Uh, uh, I guess that's the good thing about uh, the Hitman games, isn't it? That's what we, we were, I think everyone hoped for an absolution, but and we got a bit more of a linear experience. This seems to definitely be a return to form. Let's go and see if we can follow him around. I guess as a waiter, I probably can't go quite as many places. Stuff to pick up there. All I'm asking is if you give me your number. I mean, come on, but watch your step, Dick. <laughs> I seem to have a bit of a uh, 
free reign around here. Oh, hang on, is he going to the bar now? Have I? Typically like a like a bus. Wait ages and then eventually show up when you've uh, you think none are gonna turn up. Oh yes, here we go. I think I'll stand over here and think, no. Wasn't me mate, no, I didn't mix that drink. Was it you? <laughs> Don't know, it really can't handle his alcohol. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. This is this is not nerves. This is oh, this is something else entirely. Oh god, I'm getting dizzy. Are you feeling alright? <laughs> okay. This is something you ate. Hey, please look where you're going. That's okay. Oh, uh, yeah, this is probably not the best time, but I couldn't help noticing. What kind of shoes are those with the pack? Ugh, right. I'll, I'll come back. Uh, need more napkins. <laughs> Kinda wanna see what happens. <laughs> That's it, go on, drive the porcelain bus. That would have been a good idea. You could have, if we could have put a bomb there as well, and while he's being sick, blow it up, that could have been insult to injury. Kind of the double whammy, I've poisoned you, but then I'm going to blow you up and kill you instantly. I guess I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, oh, yes, we're going to. Yes, we are. There we go. And then we put a cherry on top. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. You can always go hide them. And I'm out of here. And we are in position. Accident kill. Yeah, the accident. He, he, he was being sick, and then he fell into the toilet and drowned himself. I have no idea how that happened. Yeah, I know his neck was all bruised from like someone was holding him down, but it was an accident. going. You should never drive and look at the chat at the same time. There we go. I won't uh, show you all the bits of the storyline. That's, you know, that'd ruin it for you. Don't put too many spoilers. So you get challenge you complete and you get kind of points for doing various bits, so I did quite a few that time. Quite happy with that. It looked like it was going a bit shaky in the middle, that I was gonna be in a bit of trouble. Uh, so yeah, with kind of mastery you unlock more kit and places you can stash weaponry, so as you do more you got more opportunities open to you of how you can approach things, so So really kind of what a w one out of five. It may have had something to do with the three people I killed who weren't targets. But hey, you know, nothing's perfect. And for, you know, an early go at it, I'm pretty happy with that. So, there's all different challenges you can perform. So, there's lots of challenges to do with how you approach it all sorts of things so dropping a chandelier on them as I referenced earlier it's things to find so there's, there's lots of challenges for you to do in, in, in this level so while you're waiting for the next one to come out in a month's time which I think is coming out in April and I believe if I remember correctly uh, the next one um, I'm not sure where it is 
Sapienza, it says in my information here. Which is that Italy? I presume that's Italy somewhere. Um, then there's Marrakesh in May. And then we'll be travelling to Thailand, United States, and concluding in Japan. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five more months looking at it. One, two, three, four, five, yes. Seven episodes in total coming out this year. Um, if you are not up for the digital release, you can pick it up on a disc, but that won't be till January next year. So uh, for now, this is a, a digital title pretty much. Um, you may say, but Alex, that's just Paris. That's not enough for me. What else can you do in it? Well, there's, um, there's a training couple of training missions which are quite interesting which I enjoy playing through which have some equally crazy assassinations you can do um, um, but I'll show you the other bits you can you can do the, the, the kind of treating this as a platform so rather than it just being just being the one area they're gonna offer some things you can come back to and, and kind of try to do so one thing that returns is contracts which was in absolution where you can go into a level select any of the NPCs in there pretty much mark them assassinate them in a specific way with a specific disguise or weapon and then set that as a challenge for other people and then you can also do the same thing um, the same thing for the for, for the people with ones you upload so it's a, it's a nice way to keep keep you interested in the levels that's in here uh, one of the other things is they're going to have an elusive target, it's not in yet, but what that means is for 48 hours there'll be a target in the level who you have one attempt to kill. So if you miss it, they're gone forever, uh, so you've, you've, you've got to really be careful so it's like a real hardcore sort of mode. Um, so there's a contract, so if I have a quick look at it. So for this one I have to wear the uh, two people need to kill and I have to wear the palace staff uniform, use poison on one and any weapon on the other. So, quite interesting. And there's Escalation which uh, which has you playing through uh, a series of escalating uh, challenges. So, let's have a look at the first one. So Antonio has asked in the chat, how can I already be playing this? Well, for anyone new to the stream, I'm Alex, I'm from Push Square, the, the leading independent source of PlayStation news on the internet. Uh, and the people, good people at Square Enix have been good enough to provide us with, a, with some early codes for this, so we can show you guys what it's all about, get the word out there, and you know, hopefully see what people think of it. Um, I was unsure about the, the approach, but I've actually quite enjoyed playing it, and I can see myself revisiting some of the later episodes. So, here's another scenario. This is one of the training areas, but um, I won't show too much, but this basically has me after this guy, and I have to wear a Soviet soldier uniform and use a pistol. Uh, so this is kind of the escalations, and if I tell you exactly what the escalation is, which will be useful. Uh, you have to master a location, uh, they're handcrafted by the developer themselves and, and they escalate in difficulty by adding new elements to consider every time you master a scenario. So basically every time you complete one it gives you another one in the same area of a slightly more challenging variety. So plenty to kind of be, be getting on with uh, in terms of uh, Hitman uh, with the first episode. So you can have it as I say an introduction pack with the first episode. You can have it as a full buy all the episodes that come out all up at once, or you can kind of buy it piecemeal. So there's, there's quite a variety, and it's a, an interesting approach. Whether it resonates with people will remain to be seen. But so far, uh, this has seems a very promising approach. I've enjoyed kind of playing what I've played. And I think I'll uh, definitely look at revisiting uh, this scenario and seeing how other ways I can. Uh, carry out the assassinations so I think I'm gonna call it uh, call it quits there um, quit while you head after all I did quite well I thought I got away with the uh, with a couple of uh, interesting kills I'll be using the new system to guide me a little bit so if you like this live stream please subscribe to our channel there'll be more in the future um, 
looking at playing anything new. We've done live streams recently of the Smite beta and also for the Division when the, for, as soon as that came out. So subscribe to the channel, check out our other videos and maybe come back and uh, check out some more live streams in the future. Um, you can follow me, I'm at Alex Stinton on Twitter. You can find us at uh, pushsquare.com for all the news and as I say, um, thank you very much for watching and later on, bye!